How to knit the reverse garter selvage edge stitch. English style, left-handed. For this tutorial, you will need a pair of knitting needles and a ball of yarn. Special thanks to our sponsor, Mountain Metal Wool, for providing today's yarn. Today we are using their Laramie line in the color geranium. Selvage edges are a way to finish the edge of your work while you're knitting and help give them stability and a little bit of structure as well as a nice finished look. Now the reverse garter stitch edge stitch is a variation of the garter stitch selvage edge and it is done by purling rather than knitting. Uh, it's going to have a very similar look to it uh, on either side uh, and uh, for some people might give a little bit tighter look and feel depending on how you knit. Now this looks very nice on stockinette fabric but it also looks really good on seed stitch as well. So to do this for step one we're just going to begin by purling the first stitch. Okay, and then we're going to bring the yarn to the back and we'll continue working in our pattern. Now, here I'm doing stockinette and I'm on the right side, but uh, again, this can work with other types of pattern stitches depending on what you're doing. And this will uh, give you a nice look or feel to your edge when you're doing something like a scarf uh, or even like a pot holder. If I can ever get my yarn in my fingers, there we go. This yarn is not wanting to cooperate today. Here we go. It's very springy, which I like in a yarn, but sometimes it can be a little bit difficult. So I'm just knitting across until the last stitch in our row, which will bring us to step two when we get there. All right, so for step two now, we're gonna bring the yarn in front of our work and then we will purl the last stitch. And we're gonna repeat these two steps for every stitch or for the beginning and last stitch on both sides of our fabric. So here, we're working on the wrong side of our fabric now. We're still gonna purl. It just happens to be in this case that we're gonna purl all of the stitches across on the back. Now this would not be the case if you were doing something like a seed stitch or a moss stitch or linen stitch, which would benefit from an edge like this. So just continue repeating steps one and two at the first and last stitches of each side, and you'll get the reverse garter selvage edge stitch. Here's a closer look at the finished edge stitch. Want more news today? Join our VIP email list to get every stitch directly to your inbox. Sign up today at newsitoday.com slash VIP.